But we have had the hardest time with the St. Petersburg paper, and I keep saying St. Petersburg, but every time I say St. Pete, think about every large city in the state of Florida repeating these stories. Uh, to the credit, now, now Kelly, hold on to your hat, girl. A compliment coming your way. <laughs> to the credit of the Northwest Florida Daily News, they got this story largely correct. They got it right. And they published that column that I wrote on the EOC, and I really, really appreciated that. But it's take, we have not been able to overcome the bad press in the state of Florida for the, e, uh, the Emergency Operations Center in Dessa. Uh, I want to tell you folks that if we wanted to hold a secret meeting, we wouldn't have put signs out. Uh, we sure as heck would not have advertised in the local newspaper, the Northwest Florida Daily News, uh, to be in compliance with the Sunshine Law. Uh, the easiest way to hold a secret meeting in Tallahassee is just go meet in the legislature's office. We elected not to include them because they were not part of the bill. Therefore, we held a private meeting with Ray Sanson, who briefed us on that. We did not hold a secret meeting. That's the meeting that has caused so much controversy. Um, the statewide press has hit us with public information requests, as has the Northwest Florida Daily News, that has taken the full-time duties of Sylvia O'Brien since November the 18th to respond, and we're still not through yet. Uh, we have given them any and everything you can think of, and just last night I got yet another request for public information uh, from some group in Sarasota that in essence is going to make us look at it a little differently than we have presented it uh, to the press to this date. But we will continue to do that as required by the Florida Sunshine Law. Now Rotarians, I want to assure you that the briefing on March the 24th, that at no point was a job discussed with Ray Sampson. 